the upon him, last term to the Ummah, the people, and the Muslims of Islam. This serum was delivered by on the ninth day of Dhul Hijjah, and here it goes. All mankind is from Adam and Eve, and Arab is no superior, has no superiority over a non-Arab, nor a non-Arab has any superiority over an Arab. Also, a white has no superiority over a black, nor has a black has any superiority over a white, except by the action of piety and good actions. Learn that every Muslim is a brother to every Muslim and that Muslim consists consist of one brotherhood. Nothing shall be legitimate for, to a Muslim which belongs to a fellow Muslim, unless it was freely and willfully given. Do not, therefore, do injustice to yourself. The echo of the Prophet's speeches are even more apparent today as the world around us is a little less friendly. The Prophet, preaching the ideals of equality and unity, explains how in this lifetime, the superficial appearances and the outward identity we each hold that can divide us are no more as decisive as a twig on a road. When the principles of judging a moral, of judging based off moral character, righteous deeds, and the overall acceptance of the fact that we are all humans of all the backgrounds, we need to start accepting this. We choose to ignore such a simple fact and create tensions that really just hamper efforts for peace and strengthen our, our own communities. Allah, the most gracious and merciful, has guided us through our lives and without His guidance, we are lost. Our differences in color, language, and nationalities do not divide us from being His Ummah. In the teachings of Islam, Allah created man and honored him over all of the other creations. He trusted man with the responsibility of carrying out his commandments. This is a great honor, yet a difficult task at hand. That cannot be fully completed without the, comp uh, the comprehensive cooperation between humans. Successful, successful, successfully completing this task from all it depends on how good humans cooperate with one another. In the Quran, chapter 5, verse 2, it is written, Help one another in righteousness and piety, but do not help one another in sin and transgression. Societal stigmas and prejudice hampers us from reaching out to one another and ultimately detracting from God's will of a unified, a unified multifaceted community. We should instead find our common ground on the tenets of humanity. Progress across nations and disparities that exist could be bridged through that common ground. Allah granted us the chance to worship Him at any time on a daily basis for us Muslims. And on special occasions like Eid, the fruitions of our prayers are multiplied. Muslims swell with joy and faith, knowing that their commitment to God and their commandments are fulfilled as possible. It is a season of happiness and festivities where people play in sports, visit friends and family, exchange gifts. Eid brings out the best of what humankind has to offer social connections, community, and compassionate generosity. Thank you.